Today, we will talk about how to lower microalbumin. Let's have a look at the details. Studies show that if there are excessive amounts of albumin, or a globular protein produced by your liver, in your urine, it could be an indicator of kidney damage. This can increase your risk for conditions like diabetes, heart disease, or kidney disease. When you have excessive albumin in your blood, it's called microalbuminuria. A microalbumin result of 30 to 300 mg per deciliter indicates that your kidneys are not able to filter protein properly. However, experts note that with lifestyle changes and proper medical treatment, you can lower your microalbumin levels. The first step is making lifestyle changes. Focus your diet on slow carb, low protein, and low sugar foods. Damaged kidneys cannot process proteins normally, so give your kidneys time to rest by reducing your protein intake. Avoid alcohol. Getting abnormal levels of microalbumin on your test results is indicative of poor kidney function. The affected kidney can no longer filter ethanol from the alcohol efficiently, which increases the risk of prolonged high microalbumin levels. To combat this, cut out the alcohol and replace it with water, teas, and unsweetened juices. Quit smoking. A gradual quitting of smoking is advised rather than immediately stopping it. You may have withdrawal symptoms the same as if you were avoiding alcohol if you go cold turkey. However, regardless of the struggle, it is best if you can control yourself in avoiding these two vices. Lower your blood pressure. Having unmanaged high blood pressure can be a factor in why your albumin levels are high. In order to lower your blood pressure you'll want to limit or avoid foods high in fat, cholesterol, and sodium. Drink plenty of water. Drinking the recommended 8 to 12 glasses of water every day will help rule out some of the albumins in your urine. You should add more if you sweat a lot and exercise routinely. This will prevent dehydration. The more you're dehydrated, the more your albumin levels will rise. Keep an eye on your blood glucose levels, too. It is important to cut down foods high in sugar from your diet to manage your glucose levels, avoid diabetes, and obesity, and keep an eye on your microalbumin. And, the second step is getting medical treatment. Have your albumin levels checked? It is important to keep track of and monitor your microalbumin levels. This will let you know if your lifestyle is bad for your kidneys and liver. The microalbumin test will check the albumin count in your urine. Early detection of the problem can lead to significant changes that lessen kidney damage. Talk to your doctor for further management. Know what the results mean. Upon proper urine collection, the sample will be examined and interpreted by a medical technologist. Microalbumin test results are measured in terms of milligrams mg, of protein leakage over 24 hours. Consider using angiotensin-converting enzymes ACE, inhibitors. These drugs inhibit the conversion of angiotensin I to angiotensin II. This results in your blood vessels widening, thereby reducing tension on the blood vessels and the volume of the blood. In other words, it lowers your blood pressure. ACE inhibitors are proven to reduce the leakage of proteins in the urine such as microalbumins, thus lowering microalbumin levels. Talk to your doctor about satins. These drugs lower the cholesterol in the body by hindering the action of HMG-CoA reductase, which is an enzyme necessary for producing cholesterol in the liver. Lower cholesterol means easier work for your heart, blood vessels, and kidneys. If necessary, know that taking insulin may help. A daily insulin injection upon the advice of a physician is important to maintain normal blood glucose levels. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.